Hey, this is Jyoti and I'm the founder of digitalblrhub.com and I want to walk you through how to customize a planner or any BLR product really using Canva. Now, all of our BLR products come with editable Canva links, which means that all you will do is simply click access to the template that you get when you purchase the product. And then you will have something like this, which is already pre-designed and is pretty amazing because it has all of the text that you need to actually directly sell as is or even customize and change if you want to. So let's say you want to customize it a little bit and maybe change you know, some things around and you wanna make it more aligned to your brand, then what you can do is a couple of things. So the easiest thing to get started with is definitely to change the colors, right? Because that is something that we all have a unique branding or a unique idea about. So this is like a pastel beige, but you could change it, for example, to a color like blue or pink or lavender or even light green. You could make it a bit brighter like this so when i think of self-care i think of you know um more like lighter colors so we can look at you know just kind of even put pastel here and then canva is going to give you a lot of options as well so i like this color which is like a kind of baby pink and what's really cool about canva is that you're able to actually you know use that particular color palette for all of the pages so all you have to do is click on change all and it's going to change ideally all of your pages sometimes it doesn't do that if the pages are not connected but as you can see this background is the same as this background as this one so everywhere where there is a background color in place now the color has been changed now when we look at you know um, step two which is going to be changing maybe even the fonts or the colors which are associated with the blr product you can see that here it has a bit of like a orange you know magenta not even magenta i don't know what this is but i think mauve color theme going on but i don't really like it because now it seems a bit too bright on this pink so what we can do is we could change it to something simple so we could kind of make it either a plain black so like a really classic color which is black or you could see you know if there's another color which kind of pops off when you use it so this is a nice shade as well maybe a dark green would pop off as well yeah so this is also a nice color if you want to go darker you can go a bit darker as well we can kind of you know figure out what looks good i think because it's a printable it might make sense to have a bit of a darker color because usually if you're printing at home your customer would have you know would probably want to try to save a little bit of colored ink so that way it'll be easier for them to see the color clearly so you also want to design a product specifically for a printable product like this one um, that it's actually something that your customer can easily print out and it's not going to be an issue as well right so you can see that already it's looking a bit different when we have you know changed the format and sorry we have changed the background and uh, the title here as well we can also make a change on the title here and we can look at you know some other font so one of my favorite is this one which also seems like cool um, and this is cormorant you know just the whole thing um, that you can copy and search on canva and then again we are going to do change all so that's going to change our complete document which is again fabulous so wherever you know we have a similar kind of font that's going to change um, you know the text as well but keep in mind when you make this change sometimes you know the planner might get misaligned because there might have been um, in the source file or in the original file a certain kind of alignment with size so you always want to double check before you export your planner right so you want to make sure that it is something that's doing well now when it comes to the images that we have here i want to change this to something else so i'm going to go into elements and i'm going to look at self-care right and i'm going to see what pops up and if you have a pro account obviously you will have more options but i'm assuming you're doing this for free so if you're doing it for free you can just click here for free and you'll be able to access you know all of the free ones so as you can see there's so many really cute elements and graphics that we can have and now it really depends on what type of uh, you know kind of brand that you're going for you're going for like a more fun brand are you going for something uh, more kind of empowering are you going for something which is going to be soothing so there's really a lot of things that you know you could use so i love this as well i think this is really cute and um, you know you could either have this as a really small kind of you know here or you could have it somewhere here and then you could combine it with another um you know another something cool these types of stickers tend to be doing really well as well so you could actually add these stickers to each of your planner page just to kind of have like a cute thing on each page but again just an idea for what you can do uh, let's look for a cover image that's going to make it a little bit different now keep in mind what we already have in the product you know is just 
a starting place for you because that's already designed well and if you want you can take it as is and put it up for sale but if you want you can really go one step further and customize it even more so you know it don't ha doesn't have to be exactly the same or exactly the same way that you do it but you can absolutely make it cute as well so i really like this one as well um i'm assuming that this product is targeted towards females because um generally there are a lot of females buying planners on etsy now again this is just a generalization i don't know for sure but i kind of really like this vibe as well i think it's like a very peaceful mermaid kind of vibe so i would do this i'm not feeling this font really a lot so i'm going to change this to something else and maybe we can make it like um you know something like an um let's see maybe an archival black that's probably a bit too um too bold maybe something a bit more relaxing i feel like this is yeah too serious um horizon tends to be a cute font as well but again too big um this might be good or even this one yeah i'm liking this one i think yeah okay so let's take Lovello and you see now the cover of this planner has already changed completely from what it was before so I'm going to open this for you just for the comparison so you actually can see what it looks like before and what it looks like after and uh, sorry I think I opened the same file I'm just gonna open the other files so you can have a look at it and as you can see this is now page one of the planner and we've edited it to this now obviously they both started off at the same place but they're completely different and this is not it you can add some more elements to it to make it like really cute you know it doesn't have to be just one thing so for example if you want to add like stars or something you can look for like some cute stuff there as well and maybe you know add like a bunch a little bit of magic to your uh, to your photo or you can add some more things that Canva recommends to you as well you can add leaves you can add flowers you can add like cute stuff that you know that you like so really there's so many things so many ways for you to uh, you know play around and see how you can make a kind of unique planner for your audience it doesn't have to be something that you know is super super amazingly designed because at the end of the day the planner is a functional thing right your audience is buying it because they are looking for a certain benefit and in this case it's going to be self-care right so uh, this is why they're buying it and that means that they don't really care about the the cover that much but it does help you you know sell the product specifically on platforms like etsy where you're going to maybe um, you know sell um maybe compete with other people as well so you want to make sure that you are offering you know something cute and something different um which is again aligning to your brand as well so i think just the one was enough yeah so as you can see it's already you know looking different it doesn't have to be perfect i'm just giving you an example of how you can edit it and now when we compare this to you know the product that you had as the beginning of course you can use this as well but you will see that you can already completely change it drastically without spending that much time on actually doing it now when it comes to you know again these blocks we want to change this as well to Lovello because we want to keep the theme common right so we want to make sure that the theme is common amongst all our um, you know numbers and I would make it again a darker color just to keep in line with um, you know the title that we have which I think is black here that we chose so no it was the dark um, sort of dark greenish color so I'm going to change that as well and now I want to change this to reflect you know this color scheme that we have so let's go here and see what we could do to kind of reflect this as well and I would then maybe make it more light just so it's giving that really pleasing relaxing vibe so as you can see um, you know this planner already looks completely different and we haven't even changed the content yet like we have just changed you know very very basic things so as you can see most of the change all elements have worked but somewhere we still have the older colors so we could kind of go here and quickly make the same change here as well because like i said sometimes the documents uh, you know it's not as seamless as we want it to be so there are certain colors left and of course if you don't want these background colors to be there you could change this as well so you could change this into like a grayish color for example if you wanted like you could make it a um, some kind of a light gray that would again be easy to print out um, you know and 
again something that your audience could use as well so we could use that but i kind of like the light pink because i think it goes with the theme so as you can see now we already have a planner which is looking completely different from the other one even though they have the same inside you know text so we haven't even gotten to the text now this is just tweaking the cover which i absolutely recommend you do especially if you plan to sell on etsy because there is where you want to stand out and your buyer is often going to look at the cover and see if they like it or not so you can even test out different designs so you could probably create two or three different versions of the same planner with different covers and see what sells more right because again everybody is unique and everybody likes different things some people like specific colors some don't so this is just one way for you to kind of create a different product out of the base product and if you want to take it really to the next level then i would deep dive into each of the prompts that we have in the planner and actually change the text here as well so you could go in here and create your own prompts and your own specific things you could simply duplicate a page that you like as well and you know create more questions so you could say like self-love questions for example and you could add as many pages as you want and make your planner as holistic and as big as you want so I hope this video was helpful for you to understand how you can take a very, you know, done for you PLR product. But of course, we are creating products that are quite high quality, so you can absolutely use them as is. But you can also customize them and convert them into a completely new product and then sell that to your audience on platforms like Etsy or even your own blog or your Shopify store or your web shop. And once you're done, what you're going to do is you're simply going to go and go on share and then you're going to go and download and then you're going to either select PDF standard or PDF print. Now, if you are offering people a printable planner, which is usually the case on Etsy, you're going to want to do PDF print and you're going to select all pages 25 and then you're simply going to download this and, you know, save that on your desktop, wherever it is that you want to upload the file from. So let's say you're going to do it on your desktop and just save it there. And this is now the file that is going to be available to your customer when they buy your planner, right? So as you see, it has the, 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 the cover that we have, and then it also has, you know, all of the different pages that we designed as well. So again, keep in mind, sometimes when you export things, you know, um, don't look exactly as they were looking before. I think I forgot to delete the second star here. That is why there is on this cover page a second one. But like I mentioned, now you know you can double check the PDF and if the first time doesn't work, you can always, you know, download it and take it out as well. So I hope that this makes sense when it comes to customizing and using PLR products. This is definitely the fastest way to get your store or even your web shop up and running and basically to start growing your audience and your business with ease. So I hope you like this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're new here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.